Why is President Joe Biden so eager to flood the country with illegal immigrants? His Democrat governors are mad. His Democrat mayors are mad. Soon, I believe his voters will be mad if they're not already. Um, we're a nation of immigrants, but not a nation of illegal immigrants. What What are your thoughts on what the heck is going on here? Well, at first, I thought it was just the billionaire class who runs him and runs the whole government, Republicans and Democrats, wanting because we're in a tight labor market and they wanted to suppress wages. Um, that certainly is part of it. And then I saw Dick Durbin give a speech, a senator from Illinois, and he was saying there's a bill that he's supporting that's been introduced to allow illegal immigrants to join the military. And if they do that, they'll be made citizens. And he acted like this was a good thing. Uh, you know, ignoring that that's exactly how Rome ended. And um, so there's those two things. That's the game now. So they can't get people to sign up for the military anymore. They they can't make their recruiting numbers. So now they're turning to illegal immigrants to do it. Then, um, but if you, I have, a, but then the third thing, I'm like, it can't be just those two things. And it seems to me, the reason it's the same reason why and this is my opinion it's the same reason why they won't fix the homeless problem which they could at the snap of a finger like just you know the number that the money they spent we talked about this last time the money they sent to ukraine could end homelessness in america many times over and so why would it they're, they're willing to send uh, a hundred and some billion dollars, almost two hundred billion dollars, to the most corrupt country in Europe for a proxy war with Russia. Why wouldn't they spend send a fraction of that money to their own goddamn country to help fix the problems in it? And the it goes back to uh, if you remember a movie called Network, and from nineteen seventy three or four, and Ned Beatty gives a speech. And he says, there are no countries anymore. There are only companies in the international transfer of dollars. And so I think that's what we're really dealing with. These billionaires uh, want everybody on edge. They want wages suppressed. They want us on digital currencies and social credit scores and vaccine passports. That's real. This is all real. They're not even hiding it anymore. And, you know, they I remember they used to say things like, oh, we're we were the meetings that these people get together to decide all this stuff. Well, now we know where the meetings are. The meetings are at Davos. And that's where they get together to decide this. It's the Bilderberg meetings uh, that they used to, they try still try to keep semi-secret. And what I say is that, you know, the meeting, the meetings that the billionaires convene to get their agenda pushed through is called a session of Congress. Because with session of Congress, if you think that those people there are doing the bidding of the people who voted for them or the citizens of the United States, you're a chump. They're there doing the biddings of the billionaire class who runs this country and runs the world. And so I saw a speech. I'm blanking on the guy's name from he's from Scotland and he gave a speech and he talked about the immigrant crisis over there. And um, he's the phrase he used was that people who are on edge are meant to be kept on edge. And Tucker Carlson made the same point when he came on my show it's like, why is it when I go, when I, you know, if I go to the 7-Eleven, I got to step over a homeless guy. When I get inside, everything's locked up. I have to have someone come over to open it up so I can buy some razors. And then when I leave, I got a, uh, you know, a meth head or a drug addict screaming at me all the way to my car. It's so that you will, you will be okay with and even wish for an authoritarian government to come protect you. And so that's what they want. Uh, you know, when they ushered in the Patriot Act after 9-11 terrorist attacks, um, that th that Patriot Act was already written before 9-11. So they've had these plans. Barack Obama then took the next step, which is when he repealed habeas corpus, which is when in the uh, 2011 uh, NDAA Act, Section 1021. Uh, so now the government can just call you a terrorist and throw you in jail in definite detention without a trial. And we know that that 
they, all they have to do is say you're a terrorist. Well, like when you, if you want to oppose a, a pipeline, an oil pipeline, they call you an uh, environmental terrorist. So they can throw you in jail indefinitely. If you now, they're now uh, wanting to say, if you spread misinformation, whatever the government considers uh, misinformation online, you're now considered a cyber terrorist. 